All right, here we go, guys. And we are at the 2024 Miami International Boat Show. And one of the great things about the MIBS show every year is you really do find a lot of brands that you've never heard of or didn't even realize were back. And what I mean by that is, and today, specifically, we're gonna talk about pilot house boats. And I know that's a subjective term, but in my opinion, all four of the boats we're going to show today qualify as pilot houses. And the, you know, the ones you didn't realize were back. Bayliner Trophy for years had a pilot house edition, a pilot house model. And they they had two at the Miami Boat Show. And we're going to go over those, a 25 and a 29. And then two brands I never heard of. Again, you, you're not necessarily going to see these brands at smaller boat shows. And that's the Nimbus Commuter 9 and a boat called the Solara 25. A little bit about that one. Um, you know, the specs I can find online are a little iffy. They only show the length overall of like 30 feet something. Boat is not a 30-footer. Uh, they're, they're counting really to the back of the engine when they put that 30 feet in there. And I couldn't find the dead rise anywhere. Typically on the manufacturer site, you can find a lot of that information. Couldn't find it for that brand. But nonetheless, all four of these really piqued my interest. Truly unique. Truly not pilot house in that Steigercraft Parker sense that we're used to up here in the Northeast. Let me know what you think. Which would you pick and why? Hope you enjoy this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. All right, for years, Bayliner had their trophy pilot house model and it's back. 2024, T25. Pilot House, 225 Merc on it. Boat show price, 148.574. That includes about 7,000 in uh, prep and freight. Let's take a look. Here's the 225. Nice step in area here. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, this is just a little storage area. You can throw some dock lines in there. It's on a magnet. There's the 225. It's a kind of unique area back here. You do have a flip-up bench seat here. You have this table here, which I personally would remove. You can see it's on a pedestal. It would open up a lot of fishing room if you removed it. But here at the boat show, they're obviously marketing it uh, family-friendly. A lot of wives and girlfriends here. There's a bench. Uh, there's a, a seat that actually slides out of the way. What do we got here? Got a little bait prep area here. Room for uh, water here. Could be a little live well, too, if you want it, I guess. A couple of... Uh, a couple of rod holders on each side, four rod holders on top, big storage area up here, fish box on that side, fish box on this side. Nice pilot house cabin. This has a very Alaska Pacific Northwest feel. There's a refrigerator there, the sink here, little step down area there, that's nice. Storage galore under here. You can see this slide, so you can move it back. You could probably make this a little bed area. There is a little bed area in here. There's also an enclosed head. Look at that, another sink. I like this. Small Simrad screen, pilot house, so completely enclosed. You have a side entry door here too, if you're docking up. You can just jump out and grab a dock line, presuming you're on the starboard side. Got <laughs> slots here to store some rods and lock that door behind you if you want to keep them overnight in the Bahamas or in Block Island. Got a, a sunroof here that slides closed, really nice. I'm digging this. This is, this, this has Northeast, Fall black fishing written all over it. And again, it's it's a little deceiving because right now you have that table there. If that table moves out of the way, if that seed pops up, slides back into its position, you've got a ton of room here. Let me see if I can uh, open this hatch and see what's under here. You okay if I open this hatch? Yeah, I, I can do it. Uh, oh, yeah, that one's easy yeah. enough. You've got to move the... So you should be fine. Um, oh, oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. All right, we open the hatch, and there you go. It's a ton of storage, but also access to your batteries and some of the uh, some of the live well pumps and whatnot, the water pumps. You can see bumpers in there, too. Uh, you could probably fit a couple humans down here, too, if you wanted to. Really nice. Okay, let's put it down. Now you're going back after. Sure. Okay, because I mean, 
I'm between the uh, right. Beach. Uh, West Palm Beach. And trophy. The Bayliner Trophy 25 Pilot House. And let's actually walk this way too real quick. We haven't done that yet. But really nice wide walkway. I'm walking straight. You got the big grab rails here to get you up to the bow. There is a cup holder up here too. That's nice. And little lounge area and wouldn't recommend riding up here while the boat's underway but certainly you're at the sandbar or you're you're anchored or you're drip fishing somebody could be up here put their cold drink in there and you know fish off the side here i'm i'm digging this a lot all right let's see what we got next all right look at this beautiful boat a Solara 25C, C as in Charlie, 25C, part of the Ranger tugboat line. Uh, again, a lot of unique boats in Miami. Uh, we're going to step on this one. Um, I don't think it's priced that bad, considering what some of these smaller center consoles are selling for. You're going to get a lot more boat here, and there's the price, 189 937 um, with an F300. 31.2, that's length overall. This is not really a 31 foot boat. Beam is 8.6, 116 gallons. I'll take my shoes off. Let's uh, let's step on board, see what we got. Oh, sorry. See here, a nice covered integrated boarding ladder. Really nice walkway back here if you do want to work on the engines or just go swimming, a nice area that you can sit back and you can see that seat over there, that cushion. You can sit on that facing aft or facing forward. It's a nice step here. If you do want to walk around to the front, it is a little tight. This is a, more of a Pilot House Express style. I, I would call it a Pilot House. Um, See, there are grab rails there, though, to help you navigate up front. Rod holder here, rod holder on that side. Not much else in terms of rod holders, but those can be added. It looks like a big kill box here. Let's step inside. Again, Washington made. Really nice floor here, too. Oh, this is a nice cabin. Wow. So you got an alcohol stove here. Got a sink area here. Fridge here, microwave there, little table here. This is swing back, this chair. So you can face forward and eat or face aft. Same on this side, driver position. GPS, got little moon roofs on either side. You got a really big cabin. There's a TV. There's a separate head in here too. And nice little berth here. Can sleep two people. Some more storage along the side. Again, you have little little portholes too. Let some air in. There's the TV. Windshield wipers. Again, very Washington, very Pacific Northwest feeling boat. Pretty good price too, 189. And see over there, there's a chair that pulls out. Pardon? Not in the video. You're not in the video. We're just gonna hear your voice in the video. <laughs> there you go. Solara 25C, really cool boat. All right, this is something really unique that you don't see every day. This is a Nimbus, a Swedish brand, very similar to Axopar, made in Poland also, like Axopar is. Axopar is uh, Finland, I believe, and this is Sweden. This is called the Commuter 9. We showed the specs a little earlier. So about 325 as rigged. And you'll see here a 350 V10 right back here. See a integrated uh, boarding ladder there, swim platform here, swim platform here too. Very unique in the back. It's uh, kind of like a big open transom here, not even a notch transom. Got this rear bench seat. See the glass window. Rod holders that everybody can reach. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Let's see up here too. Looks like a cooler under here. Yeah. There you go. And yeah, there's a gate here if you want to close it up. Otherwise, really big foredeck here. You're right at your thighs. And grab rail all around. But this is plenty wide to walk around. You can walk all the way to the front. See, there's a big lounge seat up here. Again, Nimbus. Anchor locker there. Looks like it also has controls for a windlass. There could be a windlass on this in the front here. And there's that, see two windshield wipers up there. The forward raked windshield, really nice. And look at this, uh, a big sunroof that opens up. See it's bunching up there near the radar. Look at this, really cool. Step inside. Yep, and it is a twin step tall. Really nice cabin area. And you have the open top here. It's my hand. Flip up bolster seats, two. One for the pilot, one for his passenger. Bench seating in the back. You have access on both sides as well. I came in on the port side. There's access on the starboard side. And it looks like, yeah. You have a nice cabin in here too. There's a sink, a nice step down. That'll sleep too easily. And then look at this, a separate head with the door. Hey, not a bad price, 325 for a little floating condo, 350 V10, 30 foot boat. I don't think it's gonna set any land speed records, uh, but it, you know, it's also fishable. Um, really, really unique, I like this. It's, uh, you know, I know a lot of the comments when we show like the 30 foot center consoles, how they all look cookie cutter if you, you know, it's it's hard to tell sometimes if there if there aren't the logos on what boat you're exactly on, but not with this one. And this looks like a table, so you can set this up that people can uh, enjoy a meal here. Really, really nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments on this one. All right, we're talking here with James at Intermarine, James Shapovic. Originally from Connecticut, we were just talking about striper fishing. We're going to look at another trophy model here, the Bayliner Trophy 29 Explorer 245-777, twin Mercury 225V6, the same engines I'm getting on my Eastward 24. Again, if it were my boat, that uh, table would be out, and you would have a beautiful pilot house for fishing for black fishing, for striper fishing, for fluke fishing. We'll walk around it and, and show you guys. Let's step into the cabin. We got some other people looking at it too. We got a fridge here, we got storage here. We got this uh, settee here that I'm sure can fold down into another bed. Sink here, a uh, lot of cabinet space here. Simrad unit there, big sunroof up here. Got a very Pacific Northwest style uh, door here to the starboard side, right? in the driving helm position. Got your twin digital throttles, your Simrad display, uh, Simrad radio up here. You got, one has to be a closet, I would assume. You got two doors here, let's see. So yeah, so this is another berth here. This is interesting, really cool. So uh, a berth and storage, a little closet area. So you can, if you had a crew with you, husband and wife maybe in the, uh, in the queen size bed there, crew there, this has to be a head. Yep, there you go, porcelain head there. Sink here with a shower, mirror, very nice. Let us step into the, the main salon here. There's a little slot for a TV. You got drawers here to put your, uh, your clothes, little step up area to get on the bed. Another big closet right here. Look at that. Curtains, little sunroof there to let some air in. Got a radio playing in here. We don't want to get demonetized. Let's get out. 
And again, if it were my boat, that table comes out and I got a giant fishing area right in there. You can see it's also air conditioned in here, very nice. It's actually kind of warm in here. It's really nice. These guys are brought this model back, the Trophy. Uh, Trophy was Bayliner's fishing brand for years, but it was also, uh, they had a pilot house, a Trophy did, as like a sub-brand of Bayliner for years. I want to say it stopped in the early to mid-2000s. Um, and this is a 29-footer for under 250. That would make a just a fantastic fishing platform. Love it.